what's up guys welcome back to my channel it's been a hot minute since i actually sat down and introduced a tutorial properly to you guys my name is priscilla i'm a nigerian women's wear designer based in the uk in this video i'm going to be showing you guys my first attempt at making a corset Whew, this was a real journey of faith because I went to fashion school true but I've never really like I had ventured into like you know making corsets constructing them making the patterns but because you guys wanted to see this tutorial so much I decided to do some research and put together this video I did it from scratch so I worked with my measurements feel free to use your measurements if you're going to follow this tutorial just so you know there are so many ways to create a corset there are so many like ways to create the shaping the paneling and the direction of the curves on the front and on the back of the garments I decided to fix a zip on the center back because I just wanted it to be you know really simple and straightforward to do but I'm going to link tutorials down below videos pictures that helps me in my research because I wouldn't have done this video without all of these materials that I found on Pinterest, on YouTube, on Instagram and even more sort of complex ways to make a corset. So if you feel like you want sort of reference material or something more insightful, feel free to check out the pictures and content down below I'm going to be linking. I don't remember the names of the creators but I'll mention and give credit to whoever sort of picture or video helps me to create this video so if you guys would like to see how i made my corset patterns make sure to keep on watching i just made the patterns in this video i've gone ahead to sew it but i split the project into two videos because the construction was um a bit so i just put that one in a separate video and i'm going to be sort of doing that for my coming tutorial next weekend so if you like to see this video make sure to keep on watching subscribe if you haven't already so you join the diy fam here on youtube turn on that notification bell as well so you get notified whenever i have new videos up on the channel every week give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and let's jump straight into the video I'm going to be working with the following materials to create the corset pattern. The first thing I'm going to be working with is my pair of Pattern Master and Set Square. I also have my pattern paper roll here. I have a marker pen, my pencil, my small scissors, a bigger scissors, sharpener, eraser, as well as my tape measure. All of the tools mentioned will be linked in the description box down below. You'll be needing about a meter of burning. I'm working with plastic burning, which was what I found online. I also have a pair of sort of breast pads. This is a medium to sort of large size, and um, I'll be using that later on in my next video. I have two meters of test fabric, which is a woven material because the pattern is for woven fabrics as well as some pins. So you're going to be needing the following measurements to create this for yourself or for your client. You need the vertical distance from shoulder to your bust line, your nipple to nipple measurement horizontally, your bust, waist, hip, across your top back, sort of the length of the corset and so on. So I'm just going to be showing you guys how to take the measurements mentioned earlier. This is how you take sort of the nipple to nipple measurement and you want to ensure that you hit from the tip of one nipple to the tip of the other one measure around your bust line if your bust form or your mannequin is the same size as you this would work but else you would need to get someone else to help you measure yourself so you need to also measure your waistline just remember to add like half an inch of ease so you can breathe in the garment so i'm going ahead to measure the hip line and across the top back which will make the corset sort of sit nicely on the back as well so mine was about 15.5 just measure yours to be on the safe side now i'm just going in to measure the vertical distance from my shoulder to my bust and then my bust to my waist and then my waist to my hip line because this would sort of make the fit on me more accurate just work with your own measurement if you are going to be following this tutorial through also remember to measure how long you want your corset to be this you probably need to measure from your shoulder down to wherever you want the hem of the corset to sit it's advisable for it to end before your hip line so you'll be able to like sit when you have it on or somewhere around wherever you're comfortable with 
So the first thing we're doing is to be planning the front of our corset. I'm just going in here to draw a straight vertical line, which is going to become my center front line. And I'm doing that with my set square and my pattern master. Next up, I'm just going to be drawing a horizontal line across like this. This is going to become my shoulder line. And from this point, we're going to be marking our vertical distances. So the first one I'm marking is a vertical distance from my shoulder to my bust point, which is nine inches. Then I'm just going in here to draw a horizontal line that goes across that point, and that's going to become my bust line. This is sort of similar to how I did my basic bodies, but we're not going to be skipping some of those steps. Next up, I'm going to mark vertical distance from my bust line to my waist, which is six inches. And I'm just going in to draw a horizontal line that goes through that point like so. And the set square just makes my life a lot easier because of the vertical and parallel lines that sit in the tool. Next up, I'm marking the distance from my waist to my hip, which is 10 inches. And I'm going to be drawing in yet another horizontal line because these lines are going to help me plan the front as well as the back of the corset. So once these lines are all drawn out, it's time to go ahead and work with the measurements that you have. I'm going to be working with my measurements for this video. The first thing I'm doing is I'm going to divide my bust by four because this is half of your front. And I'm going to, if you have the freedom to add ease now or later when you're tracing off your pattern, just remember half an inch is sort of a good place to start. For your waistline, you need to divide it by four and add two inches, which you'll be taking out through the darts that this front panel has. And I'm just going in to mark my measurements for my waist like so. Next up, I divided my hip line by four and I added half an inch of ease and I've marked it on the side. So you need to connect these points together, which will become your side seam. And I like to do this in parts so I get a really nice curved shape around the waist and an almost straight shape around the hem so we don't have any pointed angles on the hem of your corset. So once those are done, the next thing I did was I marked my corset length from my shoulder downwards and this was before my hemline and from your corset hem just extend it outwards by half an inch because by the time you're planning those panels, you're going to lose some measurements around the hem of your corset. So this is what the shape looks like and we can go ahead and work on the next step. So I'm going to divide my nipple to nipple measurements by two and mark that across like this. And from that point, we're going to be extending upwards by two inches. So from that extension point, we're going to be drawing in the neckline. I like to use a pencil first if it's a curved sort of shape. And when I'm happy with the pencil illustration, I can go ahead and redraw the line using my pattern master and a marker pen so you can see clearly what I'm doing. You can make your neckline a lot deeper into sort of the bust line. You can go for like a straight square cross, but I'm going to be creating a sweetheart neckline for this one. Next up, I'm just going to shape the hem a bit more because I want the hem to be nice and curved on the front and on the back as well. So it's a little bit straight across the center front and then it curves upwards towards the side into the um, side seam of the front. So now we're going to go ahead and shape our panels, which is where the technicality of making the courses actually comes in. This front panel is going to have four patterns. So from that sort of two inch extension on the nipple point, we are going to be marking half an inch on both sides. I'm going to mark half an inch on the left and on the right side of the nipple point. And from the neckline, we're going to be marking 0.6 inches on both sides of our two inch sort of upward extension point or the highest point of this neckline at this moment. So I'm going to be taking my pattern master and we're going to be drawing in a curved line that connects opposite sides of the nipple point to the neckline. So we have a nice curved sort of cup shape on the nipple point of this front here. So I've done the first set and I'm going ahead to draw in the second side. You want the shapes to be as similar as possible so they mirror each other when you stitch them together. 
then I'm going to mark the nipple point on the waistline and on the hem and on both sides of that nipple point I'm going to mark half an inch and this would help us create the first dart on this front plan so I'm just marking in the nipple point along the hem like so and from that nipple point along the hem we're going to be marking 0.4 inch or one centimeter on both sides so I'm going to be drawing in lines that look like this because this is going to help us get rid of one inch that is in that waistline and help us to divide this front plan into two panels for a start. So I'm going to take my pattern master and I'm going to be drawing in a more rounded shape that connects this edge of the top to the middle section like this and we're going to be connecting it to the opposite side of this uh, sort of waist point that we marked and just ensure that the shape is nice and clean especially around that nipple point because you want it to be curved I'm going to repeat the same thing for the other side draw in a curved angle like this flip the pattern master and connect the other side of that dart to the point we drew earlier on so from there i'm just going to draw in lines that connect the waist points to the hem points like this and once you do this for both sides we're going to have panel one and two and then we can go ahead and divide these panels into smaller panels across the front of the corset Next up, we're going to mark two inches from the nipple point towards the center front along the waistline. And after marking that point there, we're going to go to the neckline and we're going to mark 1.7 inches from the center front. And then moving on to the hemline, we're going to mark one inch from the center front edge along that hemline. So now that we've marked this point, I'm going to get my marker pen and draw a line that connects the neckline to the waist and then the waist to the hem. Because from this line, we're going to go ahead and create another dart that gets rid of the two inch that we added on the waist. Next up, I'm going to mark half an inch along the waist and along the hem and we're going to be connecting those points to the top of the first line that we drew earlier on. So the top part is curved like so and then the bottom is a straighter line. So I like to go ahead to refine edges so I don't have any awkward shapes. Um, so it's just like a smooth sailing line for this other side of this second dart that we've planned into the front of this corset so once that is done we have three panels now we're going to go ahead and subdivide the other side even further so i'm going to mark three inches from the edge of the middle dart towards the side seam along the neckline like so and we're going to be marking two inches along the waistline from the edge of the middle dart like so and on the hem we're going to be marking two inches as well so now I'm going to get my pattern master and draw a diagonal line that cuts across this front side like this. And then from this line, we're going to be marking half an inch to get rid of the remaining half an inch along that waistline. So I'm marking half an inch towards the side along the waist. I'm marking one centimeter along the hem or 0.4 inch. And I'm going to connect these two points together from the hem to the waist using a sort of diagonal line or and my pattern master. And I'm going to be connecting that waist point back to sort of the neck line curve for the front like this. I went ahead to change the shape later on after I realized I needed to add sort of extra ease to my front plan. But this is what the front looks like and we have our three dots and four panels which is like the most complex part of this tutorial because once you get this part done and you cross check all of your measurements that they are correct and you haven't lost any measurement from creating all those dots and taking out all those extra bits you can go ahead and trace your front panels i always suggest you cross check that the panels all add up to your body measurements so do this for your bust do this for your waist and do this for your hem and if you need to add half an inch to one inch along the side seam to ensure that this corset actually fits you 
please go ahead and do so as you can see um, me doing here so I did add it about half an inch on the side seam connected it back to my neckline and I'm just going to go ahead and write any annotations I'm going to be cutting this first panel on a fold and that's going to become my panel one that's my center front we have our panel two three and four as well they are corsets I actually have up to six panels which are way more complex than this plan that we have here but for today this is what we are working with four panels for our front plan so like i said earlier on cross check all of your measurements you can make any changes at this point if you feel like you want to shape a particular panel even more like i'm doing here because we added to the side seams and i checked my bust line i realized my bust um, line was extra by about half an inch so i'm just getting rid of that excess through the uh, distance between panel three and panel four and once that is sort of subtracted when i'm tracing out my pattern my bust line should fit fairly fine when i go ahead to sew these patterns so i'm going to trace off all four panels and add about half an inch of seam allowance because of the burning that we're going to be working with if you're going to be using a thicker burning just remember to make your seam allowance even wider because the seam allowance is where you would make the channels through which you pass your boning through when it's time to assemble the corset together but i'm just going to get myself fresh pattern paper and i'm going to be tracing out all four panels of my front before going ahead to work on the back plan so this is what my first panel looks like i added half an inch on the top side and hem I didn't add any on the center front because I'm not going to be putting any fastening on the center front. If you want to fix hooks, you can go ahead and create a seam allowance on the center front for that. So I've traced off my panel two, which is shaped like this, and it's going to have that first side of the curve. And then the panel three is going to have the alternating side of the curve, which should mirror each other and create a nice curved cup that would sit across your bust so i'm just going to go ahead and show you what panel four looks like remember to add your grain lines which is which how many pieces you need to cut you need to cut two pieces per panel except that center front one which will be cut on a fold so next up i'm going to go ahead and plan my back corset and to make my life a lot easier I just traced off the outline of my front plan. So I traced off the side, I traced off that center front line, I traced off my bust waist and sort of the hem. I made the hem shorter by about 0.2 inches or 0.6 centimeters. And this would enable me to just go ahead and plan my back pattern straight away. So I'm marking 1.5 inches below the bust line and this is going to help me shape in the neckline for the back because I want the back to dip in a little bit like so. So once that is done, I'm going to go ahead and divide my back panel into three because this entire line is nine inches. I'm just going to mark my first point at three, second at six and just draw a line that goes from the neckline to the waist to the hem i'm going to end up with three panels at this point like so i'm going to go ahead and divide my across back measurement by two and mark along the bust line this is going to ensure that the back of the corset sits a lot nicer on so i'm going to mark two centimeters or 0.8 inches along the waist and i'm going to mark 1.5 centimeters or 0.6 inches along the hem and connect them together to create my center back the shape of the center back seam goes in towards the waist and then comes out towards the hem so it has a smooth gliding shape when you have the garment on so once we've drawn in that line just ensure that that bottom bit of the hem is a bit straighter rather than curved so it's nice and straight on the bottom back so now that we've done that we're going to mark half an inch on both sides of the dividing line so starting from this one here we're going to mark half an inch on both sides like so and on this other side as well then i'm going to move to the hem of 
the first panel which is closer to the bottom of the screen and mark one centimeter or 0.4 inches on both sides of that dividing line and then we're going to be connecting them together so waist to hem for both sides like so which is more of a diagonal line rather than straight and then we're going to be connecting the waist point back to the neckline like this so i'm going to be doing this for panel one two and three so we end up with three panels for the back of your corset plan for this particular part here we're just going to be connecting the max half an inch point back to the hem and back to the neckline so we have a typical looking dart for this second dart that is on the back plan and with these sort of divisions and shapes created we have our back corset plan done so if you want to make any changes feel free to do so now just remember we will just be tracing out panels seven six and five so we end up with a total of seven panels for both the front and the back so i'm going to be getting myself some fresh pattern paper we're going to be tracing off all of these panels and adding half an inch or 1.5 centimeters of seam allowance all the way around because the back of the corset usually has boning inserted as well so i'm just going ahead to quickly do this and come back and show you guys what my back panels look like And the first pattern here is the center back or the mid back panels which is where your zip or your lacing or your hook and eye sits into the second one is sort of like the middle one here and i've gone ahead to add half an inch or 1.5 centimeter seam allowance all the way around and then the last pattern is the one that connects to the front along the side just remember to differentiate your back patterns by having another notch underneath the waistline so you end up with two notches for your back patterns compared to the front which only has one notch so with that done these are all of my patterns complete i have a total of seven four for the front and three for the back i'm going to be using the same patterns to cut my lining or my inner layer for the corset and just join them together and along the neckline and the hem and then finish off the center back with a zip in the sewing tutorial if you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as i enjoyed creating it please give it a thumbs up share all of your questions ideas and suggestions down below and until my next video have a good morning afternoon and evening wherever you are bye